Will you join me this afternoon in sunny Wooler up in Northumberland? And uh, I'm joined by uh, Roy Searle, um, previous Baptist Union president, uh, Baptist minister, and uh, who many of you will know as the leader of the Northumbria community. Uh, Roy, we come to join you to talk about this exciting Glendale initiative. Um, perhaps you could explain to us some of the dreams that you had uh, and what caused those dreams to happen in the first place that caused this initiative to happen? Well, we've lived here, Shirley and I and the family, for some 18 years and obviously carried a heart for the area all that time, this area that was once a cradle of Christianity. But actually, about 18 months ago now, something happened in a coffee shop. Uh, over a cup of coffee, a conversation with, with Bill, overheard by local residents. A couple of days later, one of those local residents said to me, uh, who was your friend then? It was quite interesting what you were talking about. I mean, we did do some spiritual stuff, but we were talking about the plight of Middlesbrough and Liverpool and other earthy and kind of eternal matters. Um, and she basically said, I, I, I was really interested in what you were sharing, the things about faith, and what does your friend do? And I explained to him what a Baptist minister does in Warrington. And she said, it'd be great if there was somebody like that able to come here and it was just a seed thought it was a passing comment but it, it stuck with me and when I was away on retreat two months later at a convent in Whitby and my director said to me what are the things that have come to you and been staying with you it was that conversation that chance remark made in the coffee shop over the road from where uh, we live here on the high street in Woola and uh, I suppose out of that conversation was born an idea the idea formulated into, into a vision, and certainly in sharing it with a small group of Christians here in Woola, people were kind of captured by the, the, the innovation of it and the creativity and the opportunity. And, and whilst, you know, Glendale is, uh, I mean, we're experiencing economic recession, but Glendale is, is undergoing some fairly major regeneration, uh, both economics and uh, the social fabric of the place, and, and the businesses and the trading. It's, it's almost like the global recession has created a micro little, quite strong uh, regeneration program. And it just struck me that whilst there's regeneration of lots of areas in public life and in rural area, the great need of generation is spiritual regeneration, for people to come to know Christ, for people to enter into his kingdom, for people to be transformed by the power of God's gospel and actually to live differently in the world as Christ's disciples. And out of that conversation has grown very quickly uh, this idea that has emerged into the calling of Bill as a missional pastor into this Crossing Places initiative. Now Roy, you've talked many times in my hearing about for such a time as this, where obviously you feel that uh, this circumstances came together that made this the right time for this initiative to be started. Perhaps you could explain a little bit what you mean by those words. Um, yeah, I think th the fact that there are openings and opportunities that exist now that haven't existed for 18, 20 years, allied that, allied that to, to the great spiritual need of the area. This is an unevangelized area of Britain. Um, that most of the churches and their small chapels or parish churches are declining and within two, maximum three generations, unless there's something significantly going to happen, they're going to die, every single one of them. We've seen that pattern for the last 30 years. Um, great need, great opportunity actually for Christians to get involved in the regeneration programs in terms of what's happening in the local community. People are asking the question, so how do we live in a changing rural environment? That the country, life in the countryside is changing. Um, Wooler is, uh, according to the, the, the Saturday Telegraph in February of this year, um, one of, if not the top place in Britain to downsize to. So you've got people now coming to live in Wooler and in Glendale. Some of the businesses are thriving, new people are coming in, tourism's on the increase, people are passing through on Cuthbert's Way. Great opportunities now to, to relate to people. In, in what was once a fairly sleepy market town in a quiet little area of, of rural England, the most northerly part of, of England itself, it is actually now coming alive in lots of ways. And, and 
we desire and pray that people may come alive in Christ because that's that's where true regeneration and transformation exists and I think calling somebody like Bill who's gifted as a pastor but who's exercised that pastoral ministry within the, the traditional church, within established Baptist churches for some 30 years almost. Um, I, I saw somebody who I've known as a friend for many years. We, we worked together in Teesside, he on the other side of the River Tees at Berwick Hills and I on the proper side of the Tees in Portrack. All those years ago we became friends. We had a heart for, for God and his gospel in an urban environment and I saw the gifts that he possesses and, and the wisdom that he and experience that he's gained over the years as being a great gift outside of the church here in Glendale. You know, taking his pastoral gifts, his caring disposition, his gentle and hospitable manner and taking it into the community. Um, not trumpets blazing, not with kind of great gusto, but simply being like, like a shepherd to, to lost sheep. And, and Wooler needs, I mean there are loads of shepherds in Glendale, there are hundreds and thousands of sheep, but actually in terms of people, there, there is real need of, of more shepherds to, to care for the people that God is bringing into his kingdom.